prove it. Okay, so this is the first, this is the fundamental log rule. Right? If you've got numbers like, uh, let's go, what shall I choose? We'll choose these two. If I'm adding two logs, okay, what I'm suggesting is you take these two numbers, the 4 and the 8, and you multiply them. So this is what I want to prove. Okay, can you see that? If I add these two logs, I'm going to multiply these two numbers together. Okay, how do I prove it? How do I prove it? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two pieces on the left-hand side, right? Let's take this guy. Let's call him a number. Let's give him a name. Let's call him M. And at the same time, I'm going to take this guy and also give him a name. There you go. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is once you give something a name, this is what I was looking at just this morning before all of you arrived. Once you give something a name, you can work with it. This is the, the strategy of algebra over and over again. If you have a name for it, you can do some maths with it, right? Okay, so by definition, if I'm writing this log equation, just like this one, how can I rewrite it as an exponential? Someone help me out. Notice the bases, right? The bases here, two, are the same as the base over here, okay? So I can write the statement a to the power of, now where does the time go? The time is over here, which really should belong in the index, right? Do you see that? So I'm going to put time up there where we're used to it, and that's equal to your last number. Does that make sense? What can I write over here? What's a corresponding equation that fits this pattern over here? Very good. I've got the same machine, grows at the same rate, but I grow for a different amount of time. So if you grow for a different amount of time, you'll have a different final size. That makes sense? Okay, good. Now, knowing your index laws, right, I can take these two guys and I can multiply them, right? I can say a times m, a to the power of n, times a to the power of n, that's x, y. Do you agree with that? Like, I've just substituted them directly, okay? So with your index laws, what's that left-hand side going to become? What happens when you multiply numbers? with the same base. You add their indices, right? You add their indices. So this is a to the power of m, m plus n, right? And the right-hand side, I haven't changed. OK. Now that is a new exponential equation, right? So just like I turn these log equations into exponentials, I can turn this exponential into a log. I'm going to write log base what? What's the base? Again, yeah, this base here becomes this base here. Right? So the bases stay the same. I always start by writing the base. Like that. Okay. What's my final size? What, what comes next? How big will I end up? Answer, x, y. Right? That's usually where I end. x, y. And what's left is just the last of my numbers. Yeah, m plus n, which is the time. Right? m plus n. But hold on a second. I know what m and n are. I define them up here. Right? That's m. And that's m, so I can just substitute them back. And this proves the law that I was trying to establish from the beginning. Okay. So, yep. um, uh, on the equation, it's addition, right? How, how do you put multiplication in it? Okay, so I've got line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Which line are you interested the, in? The first line? This line? No. About that, the, the original, yeah. This is what yeah. I'm trying to prove. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it has an addition in the middle. Yes, that's right. There. When you come to the third step. Yes. I mean, below that. That one? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's multiplying. How is that possible? Yeah, sure. So here, all I've done is I've said, look, remember, just pedal back and you'll understand what's going on. What did I do in this step? What was this step about? It changed it into an exponential. All I did in this step was just give names, right? I haven't changed to exponential just yet, okay? I've said, here's an object, let me give it a name, okay? Here's another object, let me give it a name, okay? Now, how do I go from this step to this? That was when I changed it into an exponential, right? So this is like taking my coin, and you're looking at heads, <coughs> excuse me, and now I'm looking at tails. Just the same object, and I just turn it around, okay? And I did it twice, okay? Now, once I get to this step, I combine these two because why not? Like if I know what one number is and know what the other one is, then multiplying them one by the other 
These are the same thing, right? That's x. Those are both x. And those are both y. Okay? So I just made up this equation, and I knew to make it up because, remember, I said this is the reverse of this. Right? So that's why my mind went there. I knew that this law is just like this law in reverse. Okay? In fact, if any of you are struggling with your log laws, you just need to come back to your index laws. That's where they really belong. Right? And that's where they all come from. Okay? So that's how I got this line, just by taking these two and multiplying them. Okay?